welcome back to Let's Play The Beginner's Guide. <laughs> okay, so this one, and it's inter I don't know how well this comes through on the webcam setup we got, but you can actually see hills sort of rolling in the in the whiteness. It's not pure white. It's yep. very difficult to make out, though. So I'm going to head to the only point of interest. I'm not going to see how far out into the white I can go, because that sounds intensely boring. But it's also not the point of this game. I think this game has gone out of its way to make you aware that there are no achievements. There is no, there's nothing hidden. There's no Easter eggs, yep. right? Like in those small early portions of the levels, we explored and got no reward. And I feel yep. like that's probably intentional. I don't know. Maybe they're just doing that so that when the real Easter eggs are hidden, we won't find them later on. <laughs> well, then we won't find them, I guess. Okay, it's a nicely put together little... I love hey, the image. Hey, I can the... click on that door and it opens. Nice. I love the image of the uh, the house all against white. And I actually think he's really stepped up his art game here. Yeah, no, I was going to say, this feels much more carefully designed. That said, that's our toilet and that's our sink. So we're not 100% of the way there. And it's still very blocky hexagonal tables. Um but yeah, the aesthetics, particularly this section over here with the ceiling lights and the, once again, is now now we've sort of got a lot of this wood. Oh, hey. The this, narrator this sort is... of calls calls your attention to the fact that there's a lot of limitations of this engine. So sure. keep that in mind as you yeah. evaluate the artistic Before I go downstairs, because I'm pretty sure that door had not been opened before. I want to look up here. Oh. Okay, oh, hey, I've looked up there and I can't open it. <laughs> so let's go into the door that opened. The streetwise fool. No. Yeah, the streetwise. Okay, I just have trouble with the script there. That's interesting. Wonder how many people do that. No, but you can't open that door either. So I guess what we get to do is, oh dear. Orange again, may I point out. Mahogany and orange seem to be his favorites. Hmm. Nice. You know, I actually tried to not die when I did this, but apparently... Why do you do that? Apparently it doesn't matter. Well, I have no clear objective or goal here. So at this point in the uh in the game oh hey there's the something down there there is totally something down there oh no 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 oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> it oh. doesn't matter yeah okay <laughs> good so apparently i wanted to get all the way down exactly what would have happened uh, don't tell me i'll look at it next time i guess yeah um at this point in the game the beginner's guide the narr narrator sort of starts to go into his relationship with coda and some of coda's design philosophies but i feel like that'll be more interesting to explore when you play through the game on your own and sure. we should just you know skip that i can't out get for into now. that central section at all all right so this is oh man this is totally reminding me of something that i uh, some game and i can't think what that's a great question. Oh, God, what is this reminiscent of? Okay, so I, I don't... This is weird. This is kind of eerie. Yep. Oh, once again, I'm having... Oh, the light quality just shifted. I'm having problems with my screen being... Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, this is an elevator. Yeah, I can't exit that way or that way. Okay. Lit oh, got it. So oh, here no. the narrator says, in the original game, you are locked in here for one hour. But he uh, is going to... He's going to open it for us. Couldn't actually get off the sides there, so... Uh... Yep. No, I think the whole point of this experience is, like, you are in jail for an hour. All right. 
This is weird. I don't, this is strange. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm not being very articulate. It, it's tickling my mind what it reminds me of, and I cannot quite place it. It is, it, to be fair, it is a pretty unique thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not a very sophisticated design from like, or assembly of, of things, but uh, it is a unique decision to put these things in this fashion. You know, it's not like this level is so well built that no one could build this level. You could copy this very easily if you wanted to. It's just the thinking that went into it, into creating it, that's, well, I don't know, the idea of being locked in a prison for an hour. It's interesting. And here we are very far underground, but we have a skybox, right? Well, we didn't have a skybox earlier. Oh, This is the first time we've had a skybox. Uh, it was just, remember, a white void at the very beginning. And I'm pretty sure that we are, there is not enough space in there to contain what we walked through. trying to remember the orientation yeah there should be more that we're seeing so there is some sort of portal-ish um fuckery going on totally although obviously the term that comes to mind here is exercise yard more than anything else right so definitely still keeping with the prison metaphor Hey, he's reusing ideas from earlier game. What the fuck? What is going on in this game? Hey, you can't see that. Wait. Ah, he's hidden the bottom of the skybox much better, but there's still an obvious corner there. Huh, interesting. What is going on? What is this game? I don't know what to make of it. He really likes the color orange. This is so abstracted that I don't... It's also by far one of the longest experiences we've had so far, right? Yes. Even with an hour cut from it. I just... And now we've uncovered his chat system. Dialogue trees? I don't know. Well, these are all true. I'm going to, I think the first, I like the first one's poetry more. So, one. Okay, I'll try being helpful. Wait, this is strange. None of these options allow for a truthful response. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to keep going with... Can you think harder? Tell us how to reach the end. Uh... The thing that was interesting about this sequence to me which is, you know, pretty obvious, is that uh, we are going th in the wrong direction, right? Like, they want to go the way that we came from. Mm -hmm. And we're going backwards. Well, and I'm not given an option to answer their last question. What? No. This is so freaking weird. Like, I'm literally having trouble parsing any meaning out of this because it's so... It's like an abstract film. Sure. No, I've been right here this entire time.
Okay, so we, so there's our meta commentary on games. I'm still not sure how the Streetwise Fool as a name fits into this at all. And what was the name of the level? Something about the descent? Down. Hmm. No, I think down is the name of the chapter that um, that they prescribed. Oh. There's something about the house in whiteness or something like that. Like yeah. the name of the level had to do with the very beginning of the level. What is happening? So this is the end of the level. Why is it the end of the level? I have to be honest. I am really not. Oh, hey, it's the street light from the uh, from the title screen. Very observant. Yeah, at this point, the narrator sort of goes on a little bit about the streetlight, but I'll let you sort of figure out what okay. importance to prescribe to it. I, uh, it's the only... Okay, it's... From the perspective of the player, it is definitionally the goal. When you reach the streetlight, you are there. But this is the darkest skybox. We started out with pure whiteness, then we had a brief skybox that was sort of blue, like real sky... Uh, and now we have, it's not even... Well, and we night. went through, like, a, a dementia or, like, insane state, too, like, with those colored yeah. blocks. Right. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. I'm sorry. Like, I yeah. can make some art school level analysis here, but I don't... This game is connected to the internet as you walk around. You can really... I don't know why I'm reading this out loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> can you read it Okay. Yeah, you've seen it before. I have. Okay, I, I liked that last game. Uh, I liked it. Okay, all right. Let me let me be a little more positive in that. That game was successful at communicating an emotion. Like the argument of that game was more about a feeling. Like it was really, really evocative of a strange disassociated eeriness um it was really good at being unsettling and it kept being unsettling in new ways and i it was confusing and kind of i don't know if unpleasant is the right word but it would it did a really good job of communicating that sense of just I mean, so trap perhaps is part of it with the jail uh, being lost and confused and fundamentally directionless. Like down was the constant direction. Uh, and as long as this is apparently throw out references to other games, VLP, um, that reminds me, though I don't think it's the most important thing or what he was going for, of the deal with uh, Spec Ops The Line. Mm. Are you, you're familiar with the game, right? I didn't play it, but I do know the, the concept. You know, you're familiar it. with the concept. Every single level is a descent. Every single level has you going down from where you started. Hmm. Down and down and down and down. Um, and there is an emotional con there's an emotional sense associated with down. Um, and like that was it was really dramatically so. Like in that whole abstracted nightmare realm with the blocks literally all you could do was drop yep. and in fact you had to drop to get there oh i don't know so i i i, I can treat that as more like, like i'm saying it's an abstract art it's not so much arguing a specific message as it is trying to communicate an emotional state and feeling. you pointed you pointed out that you can't go backwards, but I think it's more that you're not supposed to go backwards. That you, the player, are supposed to be going on this descent. Like you, you looked to Brown behind you at a couple of points and and tried to go backwards. And and I mean, different people can interpret games different ways. But to me, the point of the game was that you, the player, are actually on this descent, which is why I like that commentary with the people trying to go up and you're not mm -hmm. helping them, and you're just you just continue to go down. Yeah, that was, again, it was very strange. Oh, and that's, of course, why the door on the second floor of the house at the very beginning was locked. Right. And and it also represented the highest production values we've seen so far, I think. Yes, uh, And definitely. there was some very beautiful and well-put-together stuff. Yeah, it, I, it was really effective as a piece of emotional 
art. But unlike the other games, it's less about the gameplay or the use. Uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, let's keep going. Well, we're started with our gaze directed, so that's a trick he's reusing. Oh, and it's kind of... And it's up and out. That's interesting, given your commentary on the descent. And there's our wood paneling. He really likes his wood paneling. Oh, hey, a note left by another player that I'm probably... Oh, nice room not. Can I grab a... Is there a can of paint I can grab somewhere? Yeah, I know. I was just... Being reminded of the Talos principle as well. But even though we started looking that, we have to go down, 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 down. I am a little concerned about the mental state of um, Coda. So are are we connected to the internet? Are these other players' voices? I mean, I assume not. Well... Let me ask a question two ways. One, in the context of the beginner's guide, a game we're playing in 2015, are we connected to the internet? Are these other notes? I think the answer is no. But the other question is, in the context of Davey Reedon is showing us his friend Coda's game, did these chat bubbles get left by people on the internet? Yeah, that's my understanding of the context of this. Well, that's certainly what was presented to us at the top of the level. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. I guess so. Man, there's a lot of these, and I suspect a lot of those platforms are inaccessible. This is cool. Man, he really likes his wood paneling. Even in a cavern. (laughs) Yeah, well, it's not purely a cavern, right? It's some sort of weird mod. Oh, there's our goal down there. Hang on, I'm just going to check real fast. What happens if I try and jump to that one? Will it let me die, basically? Will it restart? Oh, I can't jump off. Invisible walls. All right. Well, that's not a new... Hello. Man, these are the most inane goddamn messages. Which is kind of a commentary on, like, internet chat circa 2009, right? (laughs) Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Is it? (laughs) I feel like... The guy over there wrote much wrong. Then why? Why am I doing this? <laughs> That's an excellent question. At this point, the narrator actually tells you there's no Easter egg for looking at every uh, chat bubble he's tried. Yeah. Do you feel like a hero yet? Wow, I didn't find that on my playthrough. Summarize that one for me. Uh I just saw a flying penguin. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic thing I've ever seen. I don't feel like living because nothing will ever be as majestic as that. I never want to see again if nothing will ever be that beautiful again. I am crying now and plan on ripping my eyes out. I must go now to do that. Wow. I did not discover that one. Maybe I should have read them all. Okay. I am actually curious what the one at the very peak of this little thing over here was. Most of them are stupid, but I'm curious if there's... Wait, what? Define fun. That's not worth it. All right. So... How is there wood? It to you. Did you leave that one? So, the, so uh, sorry. No, go ahead. It's weird. The question is: uh, so this is interesting because it's like they're bright, shiny things, and I felt compelled to go look at all of them. And I'm still sort of I'm curious to see like the design. <laughs> what a great example! As I say, the designer put content into the game. I want to make sure I'm getting all of the content out. And now we're getting some weird disconnect because I am looking at Davy whatever name. Um, I'm looking at the actual designer and I know this game isn't really connected to the internet and he took the time to write all this stuff. And as the, someone playing the game, I'm like, I want to see all the things he has written. Um, right. But then realizing, okay, in the context of the of Coda's game, um, this is all 
you know, stuff that people post on the internet. And I'm like, why am I taking the time to go read it? And as I'm just commenting on this, I come across this one, but ass butt. <laughs> exactly oh. it's yeah. like don't read the comments is the lesson and yet i still am because they're bright sh it's shiny things and like when you touch them they turn off and yeah. and i know i shouldn't be a free t-shirt is this just a blank wall I'm going to run to the fridge and grab a drink real fast. Keep exploring these thought bubbles. Should I? Or should I stop exploring them? What is this? Why is this? The chimes? Oh, right, because I have the sound off. Did you solve the game while I was gone? I... Why do I feel compelled? Why do I feel compelled to read these? So let's talk about this in the context of Coda's game, not uh, Davy's game. In Coda's game, he says this is connected to the internet. Do you actually think that that was true? And what would it mean if it was connected to the internet? And what would it mean if it wasn't? Um... Oh, man, I don't know what to think about this. <laughs> Got bad news for you. We're only halfway through the beginner's guide. Uh, <laughs> Your brain is going to be melted by the time we finish this well, up. Well, just because I'm trying to specifically engage with it. And as, a, as opposed to just letting the narrator guide you through the experience. Perhaps, yeah. Okay, so this painting... All right, sorry about that. There was a complete loss of internet at my house. Uh, so, uh, and and dogs. Maybe these two are related. Yes. What was the last thing that we talked about? Oh, the the group internet paintings. That's right. Okay, so I had to go back, which is why some of the bubbles are uh, are white already now. Anyway, I don't know that's meant to remind us of that, but it definitely does make me think of it. Um, the thing that I liked about the painting is that it's basically made up of dots. Yes. And there's dots all over the place here. Yeah. And maybe that's part of why I have that association of like, it's like the people are making the painting. But I don't think that's true because there's no way to participate in making it. On the other hand, there doesn't appear to actually be a way for me to leave notes either. So I don't know if there's just functionality that is now missing. Um, what I was saying, and I'm pretty sure this got cut off, is I don't think that even in the original game... Devil Tower Star. Um, this is necessarily stuff left by people on the internet, mostly because the average level of writing is too high. Like, yeah, we do have some butt ass butt every now and then, but like, there is too much. Like, maybe I'll feel real someday. There's no way someone on the internet wrote that. Devil Tower Star. Why? What does that mean? So, if that's the case, then. What is this telling us? Oh my god, that? did you see that? I can't read it. Through the I just asked, what does that mean? And this one says, spoilers, it doesn't mean anything. Ah, that's awesome. Like, they're random. From here, it just looks like dots. It always, it doesn't resolve into anything from a distance. Okay, I'm sorry. Exactly. What were you saying? Well, what is, assume that these things were all placed by Coda and not people on the internet. What does that tell us about him? I mean, what kind of a person would do this? Why would you do this? What is the statement that this game is making? I don't know. It's sort of, again, it's it's like it's building to some... Uh, there's, there's our orange. It's like it's building to some sort of emotional... Wait, I've seen that one before. That was a repeat. <laughs> that was actually a repeat. I think they do that so that, uh, you know, because they assume not most people will not read every single one of them like you seem to be doing. So they want to make sure some of the key ones get found, maybe. Did it just get darker? Yeah, no, it's like it's 
it appears to be sort of about a sense of alienation. Wait, there's three dots. We saw those three dots after we first solved the, the, the door puzzle in that first little puzzle game. Also, yes, we are moving down again. I don't know. This still feels weirdly depressive. Yep. Uh, close your eyes. Well, the, the thing that's interesting to me is... It just like, got darker. Is actually... It totally just got darker. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry, what? If Coda, if Coda is, is writing all of these lines of dialogue... Because he's lonely, or he wants to, he wants friendship, or someone to speak with. Like they're really uninteresting friends that he has created for himself. I don't think he's making them for himself. Well, if not, then what's the point? It's like he's trying to have some social interaction. That's how no. I the, it's it. a game made for other people, right? These are for the people playing the game, but there, it's weird. No, but that's not fair because they're crafted to be boring and stupid intentionally. So if it, it's not for other people, maybe it's to spite other people. But, you know, this, well, there's no message in it's this. It's not so bad in here. That's like... There is no second switch. Okay, is this, a, in fact, the same puzzle as all the others? Yes, it is. So these are just people who couldn't solve it. Um, sorry, what did you say? I apologize. Uh, they're not people. They're not people who couldn't solve it. They're not people at all. I'm trying right. to get at like why would Coda write such boring, stupid stuff if he's trying to create social interaction or friends or no, viewers? He's not. Or he's fans not no, 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 no. I totally disagree that that's what he's trying to do. It's he's trying to uh, again make the players of the game feel a sense of weird alienation and isolation. Um, that's to say they're surrounded. How, how does this do this? Because they're this surrounded by messages, but none of them are meaningful. Interesting. And some of them, some of them are actually like weirdly poetic and dark in tone. Um, and then you've got that painting that's made up of all these individual little things, but doesn't resolve to anything at a distance. Right. So maybe it's just like a commentary on all the noise out there in the world. What? This one says, how do you leave notes? <laughs> and that's the very last one. There's that stoplight again. And type the it. only sound you're hearing right now is the sound of a million keys clacking away typewriters. on those typewriters. Are you there, please? See, see, alienation and isolation. That's what this is about. Uh, about an inability to meaningfully connect with other people, even as you are surrounded by and them. Uh, there's all those typewriters, and and that's at the end of all the... Porn stars die, too. Yes. Anyways, all those typewriters at the end of all those messages. Yep. What is that? What's the... We maybe pause for a second, and what's... Is there any other ob observations to make about the room? There doesn't have to I be. I mean, it suggests that, given that uh, we never figured out how to leave notes ourselves, we were never given instructions... Um, Actually, it suggests that those were all... I think it's... Um, it feels much more as though those are all composed by one person. And so, yeah, you've got the occasional butt-ass butt, but that feels more like one person getting frustrated because then you also have the weirdly, like, he spread it around the world. And the, I don't know. It's like... Is it a schizophrenia thing? No, like no, 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 that, no, those, no. That, that's, that's a very, very, very specific term that this is not. This, again, is alienation. Um, hmm. uh, in the it's it suggests a difficulty forming meaningful connections with people and seeing the contributions of people as just little bubbles of notes rather than the people themselves uh, there's no I don't know what to make of the, the final room with the typewriter and the lamppost I don't I don't have a Thing to say about that yet all right well should we keep playing yes nice and i want to finish looking around here first well that's the same texture as the entering and exiting games and also a very very nice skybox and a well 
All right, and bars. Porn stars died too. Is a very strange title. Although there's yeah, glass actually, shelves, man. We should do some analysis on all the titles because I think that they actually are all pretty strange. I wonder if there's a, a message there. Do uh, you want to look up what all the titles are? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, just to see if, sure. there, if there's anything interesting there. This is... All right. He's very good at creating architecture that evokes a certain mood. Look at okay, us. So... We're at the bottom of the well. Wait, where's the door? The door actually so right, vanished. Good. Right here, what the narrator is telling you is that uh, Coda decides to explore this game and recreate it several times. So, Is he about to drop us into like the next version of it? it? Yeah. But you can continue exploring your thoughts on what we just experienced, but uh, that's basically what's going to happen. Jeez, I don't... What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? Put a giant hole in the ground, and he puts a table. The same table as last <laughs> time. I'd really like a washing machine. Yet yeah, none of those options were couches. A skylight. That's a skylight. And a table. We have a table. What is going on? Tables were invented in 1935. That's true. A true fact. <laughs> what? Is that a result of the choices that you made? I don't think I is. can't imagine so because I see no course. Wait, that's a wall. Oh, for God's sakes, is this now a furniture? It's a furniture maze, and then I got pulled out of it. What the right, hell? Because we're gonna because we're gonna be experiencing several takes on this level. Hello, please walk forward. That's hovering in the sky. There's the three dots. Again, orange. What? This is this is still the same game, according to our narrator? Yeah. Are you paying attention to these notes? Get over to the, okay, so click on the table. Click on the photo frame. Turn the lamp on and off. Left side sofa. Move it a little. Touch the shelves. In a real prison, the escape will now open. What is up with those dots? Is that like liter his literal signature or whatever? I don't know. Like his pen name. All right. And again, look at that starting position. So what do you need to do to escape? Oh, wait. Yeah, so pause it real fast. Uh, that that one was only on the screen briefly because the narrator just made a quick quip and then took you out of it. But I don't know if you noticed the reason why that was interesting. You only had a brief moment to explore it. No, I did not. Do you remember what you had to do to escape um, a real prison? Give me a second. What was the hand, 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 hand? I'm gonna. The second thing was the photo. Third thing was the lamp. Fourth was couches. Fifth was shelves. First was table. Was there not a right. table? And no, there was a table. There ta was no table in that. No, there was no table oh. in that room that you were just in. So that that was the that was the joke. It was like, and look, the next game he made in the series has you start in this prison with no table. Ha ha. Okay. Anyways, now you can continue playing. What? I didn't do anything. Uh, hit pause. What? What is? Pause. I okay. pause. I so pause. He's just, he's, he's running through like 10 different scenarios here. 
and uh, he's just he's just making quick comment. The narrator's just making a quick commentary on each one. Okay. There's a version where you can't get to the well. There's a version where the outside is on the inside. There's a version whatever. Okay, whatever, I got whatever. it. I got so it. Just keep going through them all. All right. So I should not and stress. Just, like try and make yeah, just try and make quick observations about how it's different. But we're at the, the bottom of the inside well. the well. Yeah. Uh, the, there's no painting and there's some weird thing over th- oh there's a freaking door puzzle again okay yep. it's upside down everything is upside down I don't okay so yeah it's like it's an hello I can't jump off this time there's no painting and also we're in a crazy dreamscape um it, it, I mean, it definitely is reminiscent of, like, the idea of artists sort of getting stuck in a loop on one idea where there's, you know, they keep, an artist will keep painting the same, effectively the same painting over and over, trying to get it exactly right. Um, there's authors who people say, like, they've written the same book 12 times or something. Like, there's just this, sometimes authors get stuck on this idea or artists get stuck on an idea and they keep trying to express it sort of work it out of their system. I mean, you can think of art in some ways as, like we said, with emotions. Um, One of the things art can do is try and communicate a particular perspective, a particular feeling. Um, Like that one level with that going down in the prison, I said, I thought it was really effective at communicating a sort of emotional sense. Um, And there is a sense, right? Like you can get it, like the idea of you go down to the bottom of a well and calling that room a prison with the giant bars. And like, there's sort of something there. And so it's like, during this period, he was, Kodo was sort of getting stuck on something. And we haven't actually really gotten to play one of his games all the way through. By the way, was there all five elements in the very first room? Could you click on the table if you knew in advance to do it? You know, I've never actually tried it, but uh, when we replay it, you should give that a go. I suspect not, um, because that doesn't accomplish anything from the actual designer's perspective. Um, Plus, Coda created the games in a sequence, so he hadn't come to that point in his creative process yet. Got it. That truly was the first game. Right. So, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to... It would be interesting to kind of look at all the games next to each other and try to figure out what is he trying to do. Um... But you only have a brief second in each one. Yeah. So what happened in the black screen there was uh, that the author told you that this is the final entry in the prison sequence. Okay. So, this, so what this you're one, about to experience is, is the one that Coda uh, either did decided last he was shelved it. Yeah. Either decided he was happy with, or finally made him give up on the idea. Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna walk towards the thing. Oh, hey, look! It's the lamp post. <laughs> This has, like, nothing visually in common with any of the other games in the sequence we've seen. Kind of interesting. There's a lamppost and a phone booth. The phone booth. Oh, how is this? Yep. And and my view's locked. Does that mean I died? Oh, no, I'm on the phone. So like, Hello? How how is this in the sequence? What? What? He's trying to shortcut himself. He's trying to explore some idea of being trapped, and he's going over and over and over that trapped idea. And his final game doesn't resolve the conflict; it shortcuts it. What do you mean? Like, okay, so if code is. Coda's sort of inner demons are about this sensation of being trapped in a luxurious place, but like unable to move, kind of stuck down at the bottom of the well. Um, and like if he's playing around with how do I, how do you escape that? Like, what can you do to f- escape that feeling of being trapped or being in a prison? And he kept trying to say, like, different ways of presenting the prison uh, and wasn't satisfied. And what apparently he stopped with is he gave up on trying to explain uh, to to try and understand like how does one escape and just did an end run and you're like oh i've escaped boy that sure right. was good and he hasn't actually satisfied like there's no catharsis he hasn't addressed the central emotional conflict that he was wrestling with in the prison games hmm. and now i'm reading my options here 
I'm already forgetting what being in the prison was like. I kind of miss being in the prison. Completely still. I don't know what that means. Do you feel any different? Ha! Huh. See, I'm scared I'll get out and then things will be exactly the same as before. This is... Yeah, he's he, it's like he's reassuring himself. He's not really dealing with the problem. He's, yep. he's just saying, oh, good. Then, then the problem was better. Uh, age just kind of does. It's almost like he made a game about himself getting better. <laughs> yeah, except that he skipped the getting better part. Or yeah, he just made a game about being better. Right, like, right, better not now. getting better. Can you tell me how to get out? To get out, all you have to do is be sincere. Tell me how you feel. Just talk with me for a bit. This gets back to that alienation concept. Yep. Just tell me how you feel. Afraid that nothing will ever change. <laughs> All three options are go on. <laughs> oh! Because <clears throat> he doesn't know how to write the resolution to the emotional conflict. Oh, that's not good. That's avoidance. He's avoiding, He's avoiding his issues. I'm actually really impressed. I mean, obviously I'm doing a huge amount of extrapolation loading. Is that the name of the game? No, it always said that in the corner. Did it really? Okay. It. Uh, and then it had the date. Okay. So I mean, obviously I'm doing a huge amount of interpretive slash extrapolating work on this, but I am impressed about how much I'm able to claim and feel justified about the designer of the games based on the games. Like, 